All right, so let us let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Um, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, let me share my screen first. Stop presenting. Do you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. So let us pray. Online class opening prayer. Let us move ourselves in the holy presence of our Lord. Heavenly Father, we praise and glorify your holy name. We thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. Thank you for providing our needs and for giving us the chance to continue our study. Bless our teachers who inspire and guide us. Bless our parents who work and support us. And bless our classmates and friends who care for us. We are humbly asking for your guidance as we begin our online class today. Send us your Holy Spirit so we may understand and achieve the objectives of our lessons. Help us to listen attentively to our teachers so we may accept the knowledge imparted to us. Give us the energy and strength to participate in today's online class. Help us to be more focused so we may complete the activities and tasks for today. Fill our hearts with joy, our minds with learning, and our class with peace. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So again, good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, okay. Um, we have um, we've already discussed about the definition of a question document, correct? Okay. We've yes, even oh, oh, we've even yes, discussed that the word document itself does not re uh, does not limit itself with paper, okay? Because any material can be utilized in making a document, but part of the definition of the document na wala na to na cover with our discussion is that very good lang ga. 
part of sorry part of the um yes baby boy part of the discussion uh, or the meaning of the document that we were not able to tackle last meeting is this one as to its originality um, can you see my screen can you hear it okay so, kani ako ang giingon ninyo ng uh, part of the, what's this, the definition of the document that we were not able to co uh, cover. So, aside from having the the marks, the symbol, whether it's a letter, it's a dot, it's a question mark, whether it's visible, invisible, or partially visible, what is kuan, one of the most important characteristic for it to be considered as document is that kinahanglan that it should no present Okay, a meaning or convey a meaning to the majority of the people or to a specific individual. So even if, yes, baby boy. So sorry. So even if there is, okay, even if there is a symbol, but as long as it does not convey a meaning at all to someone or to a group of people, that cannot be considered as document. However, if there is a mark or whether it is a symbol, Okay, or ever it is a sign kung wala pa na siya naghatag og meaning presently but on the future it might provide okay or per, uh, or convey a meaning to a group of people or to a specific individual that can still be considered as document okay are we good any questions clarifications in this part all right sige Let's continue. Naka record na ma'am? Yes, it's already recorded. Okay. <coughs> so may I request everybody to open their cum, except for those who is um, unfortunately um, experiencing low internet connection. I will consider for the meantime, but for those who's using an only Wi-Fi with good connection as of the moment, kindly make sure to open your camera. Okay, so we will no longer discuss about the kinds of document unless naapamoy pangutana. Do you still have or okay na ta? Okay na. All right, good. So the next topic that we will need to discuss is about kuan what, Okay, this one, writings which do not constitute a document. Remember that we have already discussed the different kinds of document, whether it could be public, official, private, or commerce. So, karun, ato na pong lantahon, unsay mga, mga document that has marks, that has symbols, but cannot really be considered as document at all. Can you please read the first example, um, Rodriguez? Mima. Rodriguez, can you please read the first example? Yes, ma'am. A. A draft of a municipal payroll which is not yet approved by the proper authority. Okay. People versus Camacho. All right. Okay. So, um, Rodriguez, why do you think that the first six example is not yet considered as document? Um, since, uh, are we not, we, we, we will not consider that as document since it is not um, approved by the proper authority. So it means that once that that document is not yet approved, so wala good siya ibisa, bisa gansa tanimo na siya uh, gamitan ma'am. Kay ang, na, ang proper authority may na I right na Mutabisa ana ang document, ma'am. Correct. Exactly. Muna correct nga answer. The, once draft pagani na siya sa swildo and there is no signature at all, that cannot be considered as official. So whatever is written there cannot be considered as an official document. Kaya nga naman, as what Juan Rodriguez mentioned, wala pa siya na-approve. Therefore, no signature ang na-affix pa dito sa document. Alright? So, let's have Kaliaw. How about the second example, Kaliaw? Kaliaw? Torres? 
Ma'am? Yes, can you please read the second example of writings that cannot be that cannot constitute a document? So, mere blank forms of official documents, the spaces of which are not filled up. People versus Santiago, CA 48, OG 4558. Okay, can you please give me an example of a blank form of an official document? Do you have an example in mind? I have no idea. Okay, how about the others? Zamora, can you give an example? Um, yes. An example of a blank document, a blank form of official document. People versus Diago, ma'am? Yes. No part. Uh, like pamphlets, books, ma'am. And blank form, ma'am. Forms. Do you have? I don't know. Well, idea also. Okay. All right. So let's have well, Nika. Nika, what's. Okay. Um, birth certificate, ma'am. Nga wala pa na fill up. Funny. Correct. That is correct. Kabante ka, when you go to the PSA, they will give you a, a form kung unsay imuhang kwaon. So as long as that specific government form of that certain office or department, as long as wala pa siya ni mo na filapan, that cannot be considered or that will not constitute a document itself. Unsa may rason. Because what is important on that specific official document or official blank form are the informations na imuhang ibutang for it to convey a meaning or message to someone. Another good example, if you will pass the board exam puhon and you will renew your license, no? Personnel, okay? Personnel of the PRC, they will give you a form Para sa imuhang koan, para sa imuhang renewal. So as long as you will not input there your information without your signature and without the signature of the, the PRC personnel who is assisting you with the renewal of your license, then that cannot constitute as a document. Nga naman, important informations and the signature are not yet affects, affixed. So that will not so, tanan nga blank forms, nga wala pa ka-fill up, wala po'y signature, that will not constitute a document. Claro? Another? Yes, ma'am. Another? Can, can you read? Um, I cannot see it. Um, let's have... Okay. Let's have Torres. Torres? Torres? Ma'am, I'm ako atong number two, ma'am. Ay, sabi. Ay, mo ato. Okay, let's have Zamora. Okay. Zamora. Uh, okay, Zamora. Sige dong. Sa concept of C. question document, ma'am. C, yes. C. Ah, pamphlets or books which do not, ebed do not evidence any disposition or agreement are not document but are mere merchandise. People versus Agnes, 47. Okay. All right. Can you please give an example? What, mom? Example like of a pamphlet one. na walay legal disposition. Like, what, well, mom? As, as you said, um, pamphlet na or book. Mm -hmm. Atong, Do you or have an example? Um... Like, kuan mom, um, itaw gato. Magazine mom? Correct! That is an example of a pamphlet or a book. Okay. Dictionary mom? Yes, that will still be considered. Okay, so I'll give you an example. Novel. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, as kani kani kani. These are all example of pamphlets. Okay, so as long as there is no agreement there, then that cannot be, okay, that will serve as evidence, then that cannot be considered as a document. Pero itself, the pamphlet itself is a document. Pero based on 
kuan kanabang there is an agreement or contract are not a uh, doc cannot be considered as a document but a mere merchandise but that is a good example aning a case people versus agnes but you need to remember nga ang pamphlet itself okay looking at the what's this asa mo to example looking at the kani looking at the what's this pamphlet looking at the information provided that that will serve as a document but based on the legal context as long as there is no agreement on it that cannot constitute a legal document okay are we good in this part yes mama no share screen ka o kana sa google yes wala makita ah, okay na ma'am na ma'am abi na pod ni shift na kanya google aja pa na Ah, okay, okay. Sige. Next. Uh, let's uh, have the, let's discuss about the concept of a question document. So, ganina, ang atuang discuss is unsa ang document. ba? So, now, let us discuss kung uns, anus a uh, mahitabo that a document becomes a questioned document. Okay? So, a document itself becomes a question document when the facts appearing therein may not be true and are contested okay either as a whole or part of it with respect to its authenticity okay meaning to say the authenticity the genuineness is being questioned the identity and its origin so oftentimes um examples of document that becomes a question document are the following. Like example, kanang mga deed. Okay? Kanang mga contract. Kanang mga will. Kanang mga election ballot. Marriage contract. Kanang check. Visas. Mga application form. Mga check writings. And mga certificates. Even kanang mga TUR. These are, also, uh, uh, are, these are all examples of document that sometimes becomes a question document. Okay? So like for example, um, when does a TOR, transcript of records, becomes a question document? When its authenticity is being questioned. Okay? Whether ikaw ba jud ni graduate baka sa Harvard? Or wala? Whether ikaw kanin mong gibutang dali that this document was kuan, um, given, by, given by UP? Released by UP? Oh. So if those, um, the, if the origin, if the authenticity is, are being questioned, as a whole or a part, okay, then that's the time a document becomes a question document. Another, another, is kanang imuhang marriage contract. Usa may kasagarang ginakwestyon na na. It's the authenticity, it's genuineness. Kung ang imuha bang marriage contract is tinuod ba na or gipahim or muskilid. Okay, so that's the time a document becomes a question document. Alright, another good example is kanang sinumar. Diba? Karun kay kung magpakasal ba ya ka, remember? Okay? Remember ka that's nga kung magpakasal ka, one of the kuan, one of the many requirements that are being asked so that you can get a, a license itself is kanang lalaki o babae should produce a sinumar. O sa may naanang sinumar, ang sinumar is a type of, okay, pakitaon ta mo, wait sa, Okay, nara. When you say sinumar, it is a certificate of no marriage at all. So, in this type of document, ipakita niya, yang i-confirm niya by clearly stipulating that Miss Rodriguez is single, that Mr. Zamora is single. And remember, your sinumar is only valid for six months. Gikan sa imuhang pagpangayo. So af beyond six months, if kinangla na put ni mong mag uh, if there are like for example kanang unsa may mga kuan law enforcement agency nga mo apply kan nga kinahanglan og sinumar like coast guard like for example mga apply ka coast guard nga nakakuha kag sinumar pero eight months na nang imuhang sinumar so that will no longer be considered as valid that is why you need to ask for kuan another sinumar ingon ana. Okay? 
Be good makita mo. Ah, I'm sorry. Kana. Do you see it now? Murag ni kwan siya mo. How may about that mo. one? Uh, nakita ninyo? May I ask if nakita sa tanan? Do you see? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for confirming. All right, so let's continue. Another is your question document examination is a branch of forensics which focuses on the analysis of the document which are disputed. Okay, so a question document examiner okay, will look at the document in question and use a variety of technique in order to analyze it. And he or she may even called as a witness in this given example. Ang pangutana. Let's have Torres. Question Torres. If a question document examiner, Murag na ay ni join. Wait. Wala ako, ma'am. Ni ako, ma'am. Ah, okay. Uh, question Torres. If a question document examiner is asked to testify in court, Unsa ma siya nga klase nga witness? Is it ordinary or expert witness? Remember nga yang it testify. Again, I will repeat the question. If a question document examiner who happens to be examining the kuan, uh, suicide note. Okay, uh, so is okay. expert ma'am. Expert that is expert. correct. So you need to remember good ha, the difference between an ordinary and expert witness. Ordinary meaning to say you can only give no informations that were perceived by your senses and you cannot even give a conclusion. Whereas with an expert witness, they can give a, a, an opinion and they can even give the conclusion. But you need to remember for that specific ex uh, for that specific professional to be considered as an expert witness kinahanglan that the case itself or or the information that he or she will be giving uh if called to testify it should be in line saying expertise. A very good example Ana is pareho ganina ng akong giingon. Katong gi-ask na ko ni Torres. Nga if the question document examiner is examining a suicide note, the yung ni prosper ang case na punta sa court and asked to testify, then that specific question document examiner is called as an expert witness. Okay? Please remember that. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Wala na tayo pangutay na? Ma'am. Yes. So, ma'am, is there a possibility that an expert witness can be ordinary witness? Uh, expert and ordinary are not the same thing. Probably you're asking, uh, probably what you're asking is like, for example, dili siya in the field of... Dili in line, ma'am. Oh, tingsa, tingsa. Ah, okay. Ah, for example, if you are a question document examiner... And you are yes, asked to testify in court, and it's just so happened that the case itself mm -hmm. is in not uh, uh, the, the 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 informations that you will be giving in court is not in relation to your expertise. Is that what you're trying yes, to say? Yes, yes. If that is the case, then that question document examiner cannot be considered as an expert. Kaya ato amo kung gibasian ana to categorize a professional as an expert or ordinary is that kung unsa ang iyang role sa witness stand. Is it in relation sa iyang field or dili? So if it is in relation sa iyang gi-examine, then he or she will be considered as an expert witness. Pero for example, ex question document examiner siya, yung pagkaman ang kaso is kabayin sa iyang bana nga namahi, niya ni siya, ni testify siya. And that has does not have something to do with his, or rather with her expertise in relation to question document examination. So on that given scenario, okay, that she cannot be considered as an expert, but only ordinary. Okay? Are we good? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma ma okay, thank you. So yes. now let's talk, ganina, question. Kano na po disputed. So when does a document becomes a disputed document? 
Okay, a disputed document is a term suggesting that there is an argument or controversy over the document. And strictly speaking, this uh, this is a true meaning. Usa may buot pa sa butana. That there are certain documents that are really authentic, but unfortunately, their genuineness are being challenged. Muna siya gitawag na itong genuine document erroneously attacked. Okay? Like for example, you're holding holding a mother title with you. The Kanipigas Party is trying, no? Trying to question the authenticity of the mother docu of the mother title that you do have in your position. So in that given scenario, though it is true that the document is authentic, but it becomes disputed. So unsa na puy sunod buhaton? Kinanglan na po i-verify ang authenticity of the document. Do you get my point? Yes, ma'am. This is the reason why, this is the reason why in this part, niingon da rin nga, ah, sagot to the pita. Ah, balinta ha, kajot lang. Gamay lang. Okay. This is the primary reason why in this part a document becomes a question document when it is being questioned. Dili dire asa gaturon gamay lang kayo. A little lang. Sino ba yung ang nagawa? Hmm, balit na bagay. Automatically once. Hmm, gamay lang ha gamay lang kayo. Not to place or back. Portion lang na kung saan may signature ng tao, kinu-question mo kung yun ba talaga ay uh, mm -mm. totoo. Kani, kani, kani. Latawa ninyo niyo. Sige, ingon da rin nga, a question document is any document about which issue has been raised or placed under scrutiny. Mabi ito kung giing ganina, that a marriage certificate may be questioned in relation sa iyang identity, sa iyang origin, kung asa siya gikan. Okay. But you need to remember also, kani 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 this part, kani kani. You need to remember that question documents may be disputed or not. Okay. In other words, not all question documents are disputed. Again, usbo na to ha, lantawan ni dering parta. Okay. Usa may giingon dery. Usa to giingon gani with a question document that a document may be in question or may become disputed if there is a question okay regarding it its authenticity its genuineness its uh, origin or identity but you need to bear in mind also nga dili tanang question documents are disputed document because when you say disputed these are documents that are actually genuine but its authenticity are being or its authenticity is being challenged. Do you get my point? So, muto akong giingon ninyo yung given example ganina. Uh, for example, katulad yung naakay mother title. And then, pagkahuman, the other party, okay, the other party ilang i-question ang, uh, 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 ang authenticity sa imuhang mother title nga gikuptan. Okay? Mother title, uh, land title rather, land title nga yung gikuptan. Whether it's authentic, or dili. Uh, do you get what I mean, guys? Or do you want me to give ma you more examples? Ma yes, Dai. I have a question, ma'am. Um, yes. Regarding with question document, kay mm. ga tap mo po to about authenticity ba? Yes, then, yes. Then, kaning sa disputed document mm. po, ma'am, kay mm. makalibog ka siya gamay yes. kay kung unsaon ni mo siya pag identif identify nga, madispute ang isa ka document. Okay. That is the reason why gi-emphasize na ako kaganina pag maayo na um, a question document, okay, a questioned document may be disputed pero dili tanang question document are categorized as disputed. I will give you a very good example. Kuan, kanang imuhang check, okay, check. Daganta mong example. Forge check. May lang. I'll give you an example. Okay, like this one. Kani. Forge check. Mangutan na ko. 
is this considered as disputed or is this considered as question document? Sa gumaw, words, check mo. Oo. Oh. Makita niyo akong screen, dili. Disputed, bro. Hmm? Kuhan mo ang black, ma'am, black. Mung screen. Black akong screen? How come name Ang Ang makita ra kay ka ng... Amo arang murag ko an. Kana, kana, kana. Do you see my screen now? Wala, ma'am. Uh, Black siya. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. May sa gamay ra, ha? Stop presenting. Gamay lang. Tab. Ah, okay. Kabalo na kung ano. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Gamay lang ha. Gamay lang, gamay lang. Okay. Mm. Window. Mm. Kana. Kita na ninyo? Kita niyo ako screen? Wala. Naama, naama. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. So, for example, kani, 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 kani. Can this be considered? This is a, a, a kuan. This is a check subjected to kuan. Alterations. Okay. So, unsama ni siya. Is this an example of questioned or disputed? Disputed. Hmm? Are you sure? Disputed? Words, no? Kay, murag, gi-question niya ang kuan ma'am ba authenticity sa signature? If gikan ba sa owner or wala? Are you sure this is disputed? Are you sure this is an example of disputed? Question naguro naman. Yes, that's that is correct. This is now considered. Kaya nagfill up man. Correct. Dili na nasa ninyo matawag nga. Gadili na nani siya matawag nga. Ano siya tawag ani ka na? Dili na napoy matawag ninyo nga disputed, but it is now considered as a questioned document. Let's go back sa definition of a do question document para mas masabta na to. Okay, pasensya, magbalin-balin ko ha, kay para dagantang makita na screen. Okay. Ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Um, common example sa disputed kay something uh, okay. about, for example, mga land title. Mm. Yan na. Mm. Mauti, kabalo mo nga nung malibog mo. Because, Remember nga ang question document is also disputed or not. Pwede siyang disputed, pwedeng dili. While you but you need to remember also that not all disputed documents are question document. Ano sa nato mahibaw-an may not be true and are contested either as a whole. Okay, o say. O sa may buot pa sa buot when you say question document. Ang question document ninyo, meaning to say these are documents that are subjected to um kuan, uh, questioning whether it's authentic, asagagikan, whether it's subjected to forgery or dili. That is the reason why ang kasagaran ng example sa inyuhang question document are mga check Okay? Check. Check, check, check. Okay? O sa pa may mga visa. Di ba kabantay mo sa inyong visa? Ang visa are normally subjected to alterations. O sa man check. This is an example of a document that is normally subjected to an alteration. And if you have uh, read the soft copy that I have provided, mahibawaan ninyo that the definition of alteration means these are changes nga gibuhat over the document after its original preparation. Okay? Maunang, there are different methods of alteration na atay gitawag nga addition. Kusa na addition? Kaya for example, 1,000 na yung nakabutang sa check dahil yung pagkahuman, dungagan ni mo o zero to make it appear as 1,000. 
So that is already considered as an alteration by means of addition. Ganong addition? Kay imo mangi adan og zero. Pwede po adan ni kama to make it appear as 10,000 instead of 1,000. Okay? May kama. Ganong, di ba na mapuy authenticity? That is correct. Because you're trying to question the authenticity, the genuineness of excuse me, of the document. Okay? Mubi na akong giingon ganina na ang question document ninyo may be considered as a disputed document. But you need to remember na dili tanang disputed or question document. Going back to the definition of disputed, it will only become disputed if there is a controversy over the document. Like for example, Kung di mo ganahag land title, um, kuan ka ng, o saan tawag ani, uh, kung di mo ganahan o land title, o sa may inyong gusto, a will, okay, will, okay. Kanang usa ka will is, kuan produce jod sa imuhang, kuan late father. Dahil yung pagkahuman, imuhang siblings were not happy with the distribution of the mana. So, Ang ilang gibuhat, though they know na kana siya is, is really genuine because it was produced and naka-fix po ang signature sa, sa lawyer, pero if they want to question, no, if they want to argue on the authenticity of the document or they want to, to put a controversy over the document, then that's the time a genuine document may become a disputed document. That is the reason ganina ni Ingong ko ninyo na naay kitawag nga doc, genuine documents erroneously attack. O si but pasabot anang erroneously. Bisa kabalo sila nga kana authentic ila jong gi butang-butangan og argument or controversy trying to question the validity and authenticity of the document. And if that happens, that is not a question document, but rather a disputed document. Do you get my point? Or do you want me to give more examples? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ma'am, yes. how about kanang kanang malag taras atong case ni Marcos Mamba? Marcos. Yeah, the Asa question ito? si uh, I, I mean, Na ay wala... Ayaw po gina, agatong kabay sa salin. Kanang, something nga gikas. Ah, dili, dili, gato siya, genuine. Goro. Pero mga, related sa mga political mamba nga, kung ilang i, kung ano question pag hapon, or ilang, bagi mo ano ilang controversy ang inang inana, may mo na siya, disputed. Uh, uh, what particular document na so that as a, like, as a same atong kuan ma'am ka Marcos nga katong iyang wag sa background education background ma'am ba katong iyang human diploma. diploma okay okay so if that is really authentic and get challenge ra ang yang authenticity then that may fall to dispute the document however uh, so. however if what is in question is about its origin origin ha origin okay Kung get challenge if that is really produced by that specific university, then that may be considered as a question document. Remember that a question document may also be disputed. Do you get my point? Yes, ma'am. All right. So can we move now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank yes, ma'am. All right. So now let's go to the goals of a question document examination. So, when a question document examination is ordered, the first goal is to determine whether or not ang Osaka document is tinuod, authentic, genuine. Okay? Once the veracity of the document can be proved or disapproved or disproved, the document examination focuses on identifying or eliminating the potential authors of the document. That is the reason why at the end of the conclusion, muana gunang question document examiner nga, the document is written by one person. The document is written by another person. Okay, so ingon ana. Alright. 
So the examiner will then produce a complete report discussing the findings and their ramifications and he or she may be asked to testify in court about the document. Unsay buot pasabot ana that part of the complete report that will be produced by the question document examiner are certain examples and standards and points. Ngano siyang niingon that a doc that the document itself is is koan written by one person. Unsa ibut pa sabotan written by one person? Meaning to say it is really original that it is really written by Pedro, not by other person. Okay? Pero kung moingon sa yang report dito, the document was read uh, document is written by another person. It only means that the document itself could be subjected to forgery or could be subjected to an al Alterations. Same with katong kaganina, butangan po na niya o points and examples. Nga nang niingon siya that the document itself is subjected to forgery. That the document itself is written by another person. So, maingon siya dito. Nga example, nga ang why the re, okay, is executed in this manner. The embellishment is different compared to this given example. The top end pressure is different. Kumpara ani, ingon ana. Remember that in the conduct of a question document examination, whether it's criminalistics, whether it's a handwriting, we need to remember na ang usaka question document examiner always look for standard of comparison. Because the standard of comparison, these are documents that the kuan that the source itself is known nga kabalug yun ta nga kanigihi mo ni siyang Pedro. So, if na na po yung document nga subject, uh, that is considered as a question document, okay, uh, trying to question kung kanisya nga document is really executed by Pedro, so, ang buhaton ra sa usaka question document examiner is to look for standards, adequate amount of standards para na asay kuan for comparison purposes itself. Okay? Do you get my point? Yes, ma'am. Alright. So, kinsa may galibog so that I can expound pag yun? Okay, Ratadera? Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Alright. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now, in comparison of question document, what constitute a sufficient number of similarity? Hmm. Ang pangutana, naabay specific, naabay a definite number of of kanabang similarity or wala. So this is the answer. There is no set of standard to constitute a sufficient amount number. Instead, it's up to each expert to say what constitutes a sufficient number. So wala dili kinahanglan nga kinahanglan magkandak sa o na makakuha ka o kuan o say tawag ani uh, 15 or 30 or 150 to say what to say to, to provide a conclusion that it is written by one person to provide a conclusion na it is written by another person wala siya definite number okay so it totally depends on the expert whether he or she is satisfied to provide an expert conclusion nga kana siya is authentic or subjected to forgery or alterations. Okay? Pero muna siya'y usas nakaparat. Okay, since there is no set of standard nga sufficient number to really say nga a number of examinations to and results nga the same to say that it is genuine or dili, written by another person or dili, muna siya'y kasagarang nagkaproblema. Kaya nga naman, na ay tendency, and do not worry later on, makita ninyo ni, na ay tendency that even the question document is usara ka buok. Okay? And kanisang usara ka question document is kung examined by two experts coming from PNP, coming from NBI, but on the later part, they tend to have a contradicting result. What do I mean? The same raha, the same raha nga question document may nga sa PNP. Written by another person. 
Same document mo ingon pod ang taga NBI written by another person. So makita ninyo nga they do have conflicting, no? Conflicting or contradicting results. So that is the reason why that those mga field of forensic sciences that is based on conclusions not based on uh, definite uh, results these are are examples of forensic examinations na ang atuang court ang atuang judge okay ang atuang court is given court itself is given the prerogative to conduct a different an independent examination that is also the reason why if ang um, if ang um, result of examination is based on conclusion by the forensic expert dili pod wala pod gipugos okay wala gipugos base sa balaod nga kanang ilahang opinion is automatically kanabang tagaan og weight sa court in making a decision so it's really up to the court if the court itself is satisfied, then he or she may not or may may not conduct an independent examination. But if the court itself is not really convinced, okay, na a little or percentage of doubt, mo nang pwede kayo silang mag-conduct o independent examination. Based on the result of the examination, it depends na lamang sa court which result of the different expert ang iyahang basihan. Kani siya, expert, gikan din NBI, or this another expert na pod niya in making a decision. Do you get my point? Okay. Dili ba, dili ba pariyo sa ubang mga forensic sciences that that is not, which is not based on conclusion, pariyo anang may yung kang blood type? A, B. Abi na ko may yung C. Oh, alright. Oh, Kuming kong blood type, I, these are examples of results of forensic examinations that cannot be questioned. Cannot be questioned. Kaya nga naman, this is, these are exact science. Meaning to say, these are not based on conclusions. So, therefore, the bottom line is, the Horn Book Doctrine, which says that the court can conduct independent Dependent examinations that the court is not obliged to to base its uh, judgment on the on the testimony of the expert that is only again applied to those forensic examinations results of examinations that is based on forensic conclusion but if it is an exact definite science Dili na applicable ang Hornbook Doctrine. Are we good? Paspas kung ka istorya. Paspas kung ka istorya. Okay, Rama. Okay, Rama. Okay. So, reklamo ra palihug ha. Okay, now let's proceed. In comparison of question document, what? Adi ni me. Sorry. Requirements to become a question document examiner. Hmm. Court, or saying on the court, have decided that a person needs both to study and practice. That is the period of training, young internship, young apprenticeship is better than a self study course and a period of experience. So, 20 some previous cases work on is a good average. That is the reason why, in order to study establish the credibility and expertise of the question document examiner the moment he or she is asked to testify in court usa sa mga ipangutana ana is iyahang training hmm apil jo na siya kay ano man para ma establish ang credibility of his or her examination so ra pangutana asa man ka usa may mo training so on and so forth mo na iapil na siya Okay. The PNP organization also conducts a koan kanabang uh, uh, a forensic training sa question document examination. Pero kasagaran ilahara pong koan ilahara pong organic members ang makakuha rapud sa kota. Okay. 
Another, what is meant by an expert witness? Okay. So, a legal term used to describe a witness who by reason of his special training, okay, or forensic training, or experience is permitted to express opinion over the issue or a certain aspect of the issue which is involved in court action. Maubi atong niingon ko ganina, ang nakalami sa expert witness is aside from they can give, no? They can testify kung unsay na perceive sa ilang senses, but at the same time they can also give an opinion or conclusion over the issue itself, over the examined document itself. Mo na nakalami sa expert, but with your ordinary witness, kung unsay nakita, unsay na perceive Unsay na dunggan, unsay na hikapan, maura gud na. Opinions are not entertained. So now who are document examiners or question document examiners? These are the one who study scientifically the details, the elements of a document in order to identify their sources or to discover other facts concerning them. So, mo na siya gitawag nga question document examiner in other countries diri magusa tu ang murag kapining atong question document examiner ba kay question document examiner na ka ikaw pa jud magkandak og kuan um, examination on the kuan kanang mga alterations examinations on handwriting examinations on mga type written examinations on the digital document but in other countries, don't you know, nga gibay ko ano siya, gibay, gibay area of specialization. So you are a question document examiner, expert in forgery. Question document examiner, expert in digital examination. Question document examiner, specialized on handwriting identification. Muna nakalami sa ila ha. Dari sa ato ang manggod, mahilig magutag 8-in-1, 3-in-1, 4-in-1. Murag kapi ba? So, muna yun na so, in short, mga bright kayo. All in one? All in, all in one. Bito, it's very difficult ba ya? Kaya you need to, kaya you need to really be an expert on the different areas of question document examination. Alright? So, kuan, um, these are the two divisions of question document examination. You do have the criminalistic and you do have the handwriting identification. With regards to your criminalistics, I've already discussed this and this was already um, included on the video that I have provided. But for additional information, your criminalistic examination simply focuses on laboratory examinations. Like for example, your forgery. Oh, Ma'am, di ba handwriting man na, nga nung napunta diya sa criminalistics? Because remember, when you try to examine a, a, a forged document, imo biya pong lantawon ang iyang bolpendo. That is the reason why there is what we call thin layer. Can you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Mabiyan natang natin gitawag na thin layer chromatography. So, usa may boot pa sa boot, ano thin layer chromatography? It is a type of examination that looks at the different chemical composition of the ball pen of the ink. Like this one. I hope it is clear on your screen. Like this one. So, kung naa kay ball pen nga panda, and you do have another ball pen nga pilot, and you do have HBW, even if kanang silang tulo, puro black, using your naked eye, may juga, ay, pariha naman sila because they're all black. But, if you will subject it to thin layer chromatography, makita ni mo nga, ay, sa panda di ay, no, tawag na example, sa panda di ay, ang black niya is taas o dalagan. Example na, I'm not saying this is really panda. Example na because, Moro may ako nakita diri. Nga, ay ang example panda di ay. Oh. Gikan sa gikan sa black nagka blue, ding ni light, ding ni blue na pud, ding ni light green, ding ni dark green, ding ni run ra kutob diri. Then another black ni action of purple. Ingon ana ba? So dili but pasabot nga abi kay puro sila black. Pareho nag chemical composition, it's not like that. 
niya, usa may but pasabot ana. If ang bow pen nga color black, lain lain og brand, lain lain og chemical composition para yu ani oh. Blue, green, yellow, purple. Lain lain sa chemical composition, it also means that under under special light examinations over the document, it also means na kung lain-lain o chemical composition, pag abot sa special light examination over the document, lain-lain po yung reaction under the different nanometers of light. Example! Bulo tagtsada ng example. Tim sa lain na. Okay! Kani, 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 kani. Like example. Assuming Okay, kani, 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 kani. Assuming nga kaning white. Okay, kaning white. Kani sila ang tanang appear. Do you see it? This one? Okay, kani nga ga-appear nga murag white or yellowish white. Basta muna siya. Ni luminescence, this, assuming na ha, these are the original, kuan, kanabang original input of the check. Okay, assuming nga po that the gigamit aning ball pen is pilot. Okay. Dahil yung pagkawaman for John Smith. Kani si John Smith is added na lamang sa document after its original preparation. So in short, subjected to alteration ni siya nga check. Yan ang gigamit niya HBW. Kay pari-pari yun mag-agi. HBW. So, meaning to say, lain-lain man o chemical composition. So if this check itself is subjected to chemi uh, to a light examination therefore tanan nga originally written using the pilot will have the same light reaction to the different nanometers of light remember that in your special photography nga klase lights are measured through nanometers correct dili Oh my God, nangalimot na mo. O sa ito, lain-laing special lights? Kindly name one. Sa UV. UV. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uy. Aside sa UV, o sa pa may lain? How about Torres? Another example, Torres. Aside sa UV. Hala, giniig ko. You need to review your kwana, photography class, ha? Aside sa UV, you have X-ray. X-ray has also a different nanometer. Ang X-ray is 1 to 30 nanometer. Your UV is a different nanometer also. Your visible light is also a different nanometer. Mo ba yan na siyang gitawag nga visible light because it appears as a white light on our naked eye. And if that white light no reflects an edge of a prism that's the time nga makita na to ang spreading of the white light which is represented by the window ah uh, rainbow okay unsa may rason nga no ang mga bata tagaan jud og katong pula nga necklace para ba nas abat of course not it's not for the abat but rather pula na siya because among the different Colors of the rainbow. Ang usa sa pinaka. May kang ilad. What are the different colors of the rainbow? Mo ni siya'y nasulod sa inyuhang. Nasulod sa inyuhang. Uh, say, tawag, an invisible light. That if combined, it becomes white light. And that white light does not appear as color white like the band paper, but crystal white. Okay. So again, as what I have mentioned, if when the visible light travels and it hits a certain edge, okay? So like for example, sa prism, or ka na bang mamubungog tanong, niya ka nang inyong i-press ng sa end sa nozzle para kusog kuno ay agi, kuha na go ninyo sa light and you check ka na sa other uh, side, makita ninyo ng colors of the rainbow. 
Again, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Going back to the given example earlier, nga no ang mga bata gamitan o pula nga si tawag ani? Bracelet. It's not because para sa abal. Okay? It is because among the different colors of the rainbow, ang pinaka visible nanometer of lights of the color of the rainbow or the visible light, it is color red. Claro ha, bante may ngumurug para sa abal. It's not para sa abal. Mojo na siya pinaka visible. Okay? So, balik ta. Aside from your UV, you do have your infrared. Your infrared is 1,000 plus nanometers ni mga bataan eh. So, kung sa may boot, pasabot, Ana, on the different nanometers of light, if the ink of the ball pen on various brands has different chemical composition, therefore, it reacts differently from one another into when subjected to the to the same nanometer light. Example, if ang gigamit na itong nanometer of light is 990. Okay, so nasa infrared. Okay, so tanan nga gisulat sa pilot mo in ani o gitsura. Kung gimoo na po na ni mo nga 700 nanometer, buot pa sa buot na ay possibility nga kaning gisulat sa imong pilot, mo darken siya, mo black siya, and your uh, your for John Smith here, which is um, added, okay, added na lamang kay subjected to alteration, pwede siyang mo react, mo fade ba siya, mo dark ba siya, basta na ay in contrast with the pilot and your HBW. Do you get my point? So, muna ay rason, nga nung even documents that are subjected to forgery or alterations aside from examining the the penmanship to determine the author of the writing, nag-conduct po sila o chemical examination. But then again, you need to remember that in question document examiner, as much as possible, the examiner does not conduct destructive examination, but rather mga non-destructive. Ganong non-destructive jud ang gamiton? Like pariyo aning mga utilization of mga light instead nga butangan o chemical. Because the moment you, you, you mutilate it, you encircle it, or you cut it, ang mahitabo, it cannot be restored in its original condition. So maunang, as much as possible, it should be a, it should be a non-destructive examination. Question, Torres, when a question document examiner conducts, lubat, when a question document examiner conducts thin layer chromatography examination, unsa man na siya, destructive or non-destructive examination? Again. Destructive, ma'am. Destructive, that is correct. Munang, as much as possible, di sila kayo magamit, Anna. Munang, more on light examinations. But sometimes, um, walay choice mo ng kanay buhaton. Mo ba yan ng pensa? That is the reason why that your uh, photography is one of the field of forensics na gigamit po sa question document examinations. Because in the field of photography and the other similar um, devices like mga printer and photocopying machine it allows no it allows the question document examiner to conduct an unlimited opportunity to study the document question ma'am yeah regarding with criminalistic examination katong sa pag-identify if kung unsa nga ball pen ang iyang gigamit. Ang kanang ko niya, ma'am, kanang original niya, kailangan niya i-compare. Kung ano siya, ma'am, dapat ta siya marag, more than one para mabalaan if kung kana bagyod na ball pen ang sige niya gamiton. Sorry, I did not get your question. Can you please repeat it, ah. Yeah. Uh, regarding sa criminalistic examination, ma'am ba, mm. kanang paggamit o ball pen, mm. kay, 
tanang tag identify ni mga anak ma'am makuha kag sampol makuha kag ah. pila ka sampol more than one sampol Diliday. para ma-identify mm-hmm. ni mo ma'am okay that is a very good question when you conduct thin layer chromatography ang imuha magung gamitan ana nga sample dai it's not that you will get the ball pen and make an example no you will need to cut the question document dai Mm, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Dito, ma'am, ma'am, question, ma'am. Oh, dito ju ka mismo sa question document mo cut og portion sa writing. Dayong iparan ni mo. Mo nang gingon ako nga as much as possible dili ko na sila mo conduct og mga destructive kay kung immutilate na siya ni mo di na ba yan ang mabalik. And, so, di na possibility siya nga kato nga document, di na magamit kay nakat dili, naman. Dili na, nakat naman siya. More actually subjected to examination. Ah, okay. Pero, with regards to the condition itself, dili na mabalik kay kikat naman na to. Okay? Mga ba yan ang akong giingon ninyo nga ang, ang use of photocopying machine, printer, and even ka ng mga camera is utilized in the conduct of examination because with the use of this equipment, Magod, it allows or it gives an unlimited opportunity for the examiner to conduct an examination. Example, kung naasay ka nang lang i-zoom, o oh, dili na magsigig-siga-siga yung mata o masubraan gamit ang, ang magnifying. Pero all he has to do is to use the camera and zoom the particular writing na gusto niyang kuanun. Or another, ganang kag mo check of discoloration. With the help of special photography, with the application of special light like the UV, so on and so forth, makita ni mo if there are discoloration. So normally, ang if you're trying to look for discoloration, the, uh, these are, are, are writings nga gipang erase using a chemical. Okay? Ayo. All right. Another is handwriting uh, investigation. To do this focus more on the author. So remember, on sa tokong giingon last meeting that in identifying uh, this writing is really written by Rodriguez and not by other person, it is not only how the document itself is executed. Example. Maliit na bagay, ragyod na yun. Do you see my screen? Si Bayin naman. Yes, ma'am. Uh, wait sa, ah, maliit. Maling mo. Uh, ah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, this one, this one. Okay, this one. Remember that in the conduct of handwriting examination in determining kung kinsay author, one author ba, okay, written by the same person or another person, it's not just about the baseline. The slanting of the letters, whether pa right slant ba siya or left slant or di ba siya slanted kay straight na siya or the size of the letter or the spacing of the letters and even the formation. And kulang pa na ng example na embellishment, more decoration, di na na siya mauigibasihan when we say handwriting identification. Ang gibasihan po na in determining the author itself is the phrasiology. Okay. It is the phrasiology. Mobe anang in the conduct of handwriting examination in determining the author, kinahang lang dyan na siya mangita og standard for comparison. Normally, these are documents that are executed niya uh, in the past few days, in the past few weeks or months, as long as nilira mo pa o five years. Okay. Those are examples of standards nga pangwaon. Para makita niya, uy, ang saman ni Sulriguez. Is she good in English? Is she good sa grammar? Is she good sa spelling? What are her common transition words? So, far, okay, furthermore. Kabate, ano ba na yung classmate? Kada sulat sa uh-huh. furthermore. Or na po yung uban, period because. In so far, for, okay. No, 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 no. These are the, the, the mga transitional words, pwede po transitional phrase that you often use without even realizing that these are already part of your characteristics. So you get my point. Okay. Ma'am, what's the name of sociology, ma'am? Phrase. Phrase. 
word nga phrase phrase show ah, ah, okay, oh, okay. okay. Mm-hmm. i will type it i'm so sorry okay <laughs> i'm so sorry uh okay. okay pastelan all right oh mona shay spelling sa phraseology so these are other areas of handwriting examination that is being looked at in determining the author. Oh. Okay, what if ang 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 kuan is ang um, unsay tawag ani? Ang suicide ang ang alleged suicide note is kasi nagsuwisa ang nagsuicide kunuhay kay stage crime is a eh, ibutang nato unsa man e eh, eh, uh, a professor, example ra, or a student, a professor na lang, professor. Ya, yeah, pagkahuman ka to siya, nga professor is, kuan, kanabang major in Filipino. Ya, uh, yeah, pagkahuman, yung spelling dito sa tinagalog, sayup, imbisino, senu. Oh, di ba na ba? Di get my point? So, madahan po, abi kay, ganahan kang magpakamatay, masayup na yung spelling. My God, this is the koan, direct reflex bayan sa tong brain. If we know the spelling, we can really spell it out. But if you don't really know the spelling, you cannot really spell it out. Do you get my point, guys? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Yes. Na yung possibilities nga kanang koan mga question document examiner kay mo as po sila help sa forensic linguistic. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Kailan ay binag-field. Remember your general go- golden rule sa, sa, to, sa forensic chemistry. Sa ito, giingon din to. Diba? Ang giingon din to nga, if in doubt, you need to seek help from other experts. Karimomber po mo, na? Sa inyong forensic chem? Ito pa lang? Kainomdo mo sa golden rule sa inyong forensic chemistry? That if in doubt, you need to, you need to solicit opinion from other expert. Kaya naman doon pa mo ito? Uy. Kaya naman ako din. Kaya naman pa ako kaya naman. O sa osang alan? Osang alan doon? Hello? Kaya naman pa ako. Ako naman kaya naman pa ako na naitik of game. Ah, o, 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 sa matugibutan din sa chem. Sige, go. Kuan, back you speed, ma'am. If you need help, you need to speak. Correct. O, sana siya sa mga golden rule na to sa forensic chemistry. And remember, in your forensic chemistry, o, sana siya nga branch of forensic science nga gidiscuss dito. Correct? Yes, ma'am. Correct. All right. Okay, mga pangutana, are we still good? Yes, Uy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, pata. Last na lang ni. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so kani. What are the different classes of question? Wala nga naman siya. What are the different classes? Okay. Classes of question document. So natin itawag nga document, question, to as to their signature. So, unsa may kasagalan ang gina-question with regards to signature? Pwede contract image ta. Saan so, man ipag-erase? Pwede contracts. Mm. Okay. A-, a contract can be questioned also with regards to signature. Whether ka na siya signature ba na siya sa first party? Sa second party? In ana. Okay. Sa David, ma'am. Unsa dahi? Mga affidavit, ma'am. Yes, that is correct. Kana mga affidavits ninyo. Oh, de ba? Pwede pala niyo ma-question regards sa signature. Unsa pa may lain? Letters. Hmm. Pwede pala mag... Ay, sayo. <laughs> ano ka rin binigawas? Ay, nako. Kani. Cards. Report cards. Kaya nang dumaan eh. Katawa dyan ako sa mga classmates kanin. Ay, katawa kong yagawa ni sa mga. Kapag mo ng high school, you will be given a report card and then you, that report card, kina lang i-present mo sa mga parents na yung namin yung first grading, third grading, fourth grading, niya papirmahan sa parents. Do you still remember? 
This one. Oh, now I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to forged ang signature sa iyahang mama. Mm. So these are just some of the many examples of documents wherein pwede ma-question with regards to its signature. Another... Ha? Clearance. Salbay is what? Gibu... Gibu ang tinan ni... Hala? Nasak pa na. Sa una. Sa una. Sa... Nasak, high school mam ba na? High school. Halagbungon mam ba? Oo. Oh, klaro ha. Klaro ha. Butayin yung high school kay... <laughs> okay. Kanay. Sunod. Question, kanay. Question documents alleged to have been containing fraudulent alterations. Remember, ningon ba ako nyo ganina nga nailain-laing classing alterations. It could be addition. It could be substitution. It could be erasure. Or, or it could be interlinations. Alright, so ang pinakakumun ani is kanang inyong check, kanang visa. These are some examples of documents nga subjected to alteration. You need to remember nga ang forgery ginabuhat sa panahon nga gi-execute ang document. Pero ang alterations ginabuhat ang changes after na finalize ang usaka document. Do you get the point? Uh, okay. Uh, kung matawan, uh. Another is questioned or disputed holograph wills. Meaning to say, kan mga will. Okay. Ang common nga example ani na magoy ubang mga mga matay nga dato nga kanabang makarealize sila nga ila, na sila iusbon sila hang mga wills for their children. So, pwede na magud kaayo nga kung bedridden ka, uh, kung magliso na kagimok sa imuhang kamot, mo na Pwede kang mo signature pero guided na ka. Muna gitawag na tong guided signature. And that guided signature nga gitabangan na ka para maka gimok ka. Mm. Pero ikaw na japo nag-execute. Gitabangan na gud ka kay wakay koso. These are valid. These are acceptable forms of signature. Pero sometimes Mom. it is being questioned. O sa may kasagaran nilang i-question nga no may mo siyang disputed. Kung tinuod ba ng guided signature? Yes? What if ay ka nang ga, ang ga guide ay mo ga control sa kamot mo? Mauna mo? siya. Muna akong giingon kanina. Nga ang guided signature, iko na kung kang ga guide pero ang ga execute, it's really the person pagyapon. Pero sometimes ang guided signature sa wheels are being questioned, it becomes disputed. Pari itong yung mong giingon ni mo. Ga imbis guided mo, nag buot. So, it's not questioned anymore. It's already disputed. Okay? Okay, let's continue. Kani, documents investigated on questions of typewriting. We need to say these are examples of question documents or documents nga gipang typewriter. Uso pa ba na? Ay, sometimes sa bank ako nakitaan. Kana bang nakay passbook? Di man ay computer nila? Typewriter mga yapon. Pero very limited na lamang ang mga offices nga gamit ang typewriter. Kani, question documents on issue about their age. Yes! Kay natay ubang documents nga bago lang gi-execute, but since chemicals are added, it becomes O. So do not worry, we will discuss that later. Another is question document on issues of the material used in the production. Normally, mahitabo ni siya if you try to produce, kana bang, you try to falsify a document. Yeah, pagkahuman, this document uh, is produced kunuhay aning a certain office, pero way back, dugay na kaayo. Sometimes the logo is different already. The paper ba is a special paper. So, kanang mga materials hindi pang gamit, diya siya ma-question. So, the type of examination that is conducted ani is criminalistic examination. And kasagaran, if it's really a very important document, normally it utilizes a special paper. One good example is kanang uh, land title ninyo, kanang inyong clean land title. Kuha na siya, um, gagamit na siya o special paper. Ang yang special paper is embedded, spread spread ha, embedded siya na asas 
kuan special paper pero spread out siya nga color red and blue. Okay. Color red and blue. Nga kung kana sa mga land title. So, kamo kung na mo yung land title sa inyong balay, you try to check it after sa tong klase to toki pag maayo. Diba? Na siya naka-spread out yung mga fibers of color red and blue. So, it's a, it's really a special paper. Ma'am. Yes. Kanang Philippine money or money yeah. mamba ka ng bills. It's, a, it's a, uh, not bill. The correct term is bank note or note. And OTE. Kanang ato ang bank note. note. Okay. Ganun kitawag siyang bank note. Kay ang note, pakitaan ito mo. Kitawag siyang bank note because it is a paper bill. Philippine. Ito ito Philippines. Itaan na. Okay. Wala taan na. Hmm. Ganun kani siya gitawag na siyang bank note. Okay. Because it's a paper bill. Ganun gitawag siyang bank uh, mga note because na asay specific security features nga gi embed like for example example kaning inyuhang kwarta what ay dako dere kani 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 okay like for example kani siya this is an example of a special paper kay ngano man bisag malabhan nimo imong karasunis do di guni siya mabungkag dayon kay part cotton part abaka okay tawa <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, asa maturon. Kana. Another thing is kani. Kaning naka-embed dere. Pagkuha gamo kwarta ninyong 100. Wala ni kwarta. Ayuhod nimo ni siya og tutok ang nakabutang ang nakabutang yud ani dia is uh, bankos BSP. Okay, ang BSP stands for kani. Totoo ka nang magmaayo ang but ang nakabutang dia is BSP. Ang BSP means Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas. O nang BSP. Kani holographic puno siya. Bot pa sa bot kung imo ni siyang i-move. Ya na ba? Mo change change na siya og color. And remember, pwede mong makasuwan kung inyo ang immutilate ang banknote. Inyo ang tangtangon ni, eh, pwede mong makasuwan. Even kanang mga Just pesos nga nay gold sa tunga. If imo nang kwao ng gold ana kay mo ni mo sing sing pwede ka makasuan kay mutilation of currency. Ito ba ang gold ana ma? Di man gold. Pwede mo makasuan Katong, na actually. Katong gala mo sing sing man ba? Ma 2001 ina na tinuod to. Dili oi. Dili man gold. Bore ilang ganahan ko anon kay dili mo mura mo gud stainless di man gud siya mo change of color. Ay dili siya mo si tawag mo tarnish. That's the word. Pero bawal jo na siya kayo. You cannot mutilate that. Kaya pwede siya mo ma-report, ana. Then another is, kaning iyahang na wong. Oh. What makes it special? kay tungod man ni siya nga, kung sa'y tawag, ani, vivid, dili dull ang iyahang color. Ah, dili dull ang iyang itsura. Mura siya naka-imbost. Kanipong, ah, dili imbost, mura siya ug alive is the word. Kanipong Republika ng Pilipinas, bisag buta ka, mabasa na ni mo do. Kaya nga naman, imbos man siya, but pa sa but, kana bang medyo putruding ang iyahang R? So, mabasa ni mga Republika ng Pilipinas na siya. Kanipod na rin mabasa po na siya ni mo. Okay? Kanipod siya, kung ayaw niya na magtutok, ang makita niya, kung unsay monetary value niya 100, mo po niya makita na rin 100. Take it my point. Sa likod po, sa Ha? Suwila na. Ha? Nang murag i-copy mo ba? Ilang oh! suwila mo ba? Oh! Ang tawag, Ana, is counterfeit note. Yes! I-copy na na magugig counterfeit ang ato ang magung kwarta. Mo ba yan ang ginabuhat sa government sa Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas? Ilahang ako matawa na dyan. Mo nang gibuhat sa Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas, ilahang gina-update ang security features sa ato ang kwarta. They make it Mm, ah, gigi, gigi, kuha nila, gigi, kanabang, gigi, pas, gigi, nasi tawag ani, mas, gipalisod nila ang security features sa kwarta. 
to ensure nga it would be difficult on the part of the counterfeiters to counterfeit our note. So do not call, do not call it as a fake money. Ha? That's not the correct technical term. It should be addressed as it is it must be called as counterfeit note. Claro? Counterfeit yes, note. Yes? Asay anong part anak ma'am basta 100 asa ang lisod kayo ang murag bigit siya ma kuan gani ma'am kani kasagaran kani kan diri kasagaran kani siya kasagaran wala sila kabalo nga naay makita diri ilang pagtuo na wong ray makita but actually if i-move na siya nimo makita nimo ang currency dira okay dayon yung kanipong sa baybayi nato asa man ni ron di ba kabante kani atong baybayin Kani, baybayin ni siya. Baybayin. pag na sa likod, napo na sa taas, baybayin ni Apon. Okay? Ito yung mga invisible na si Makita. Hmm, nasa likod. O, oh, makita ni mo diya ang, ang nakabutang na idari is baybayin. You explore your money after this class. Okay? Wala may banknote, ma'am. Uwe. Siyag na ba yung may 500... Come on, Judah. Oi, remember that each banknote lain lain sila og nagbayo na ko anak. Each banknote lain lain sila og security features. Okay, so after this class, if you do have time, you try to explore in advance your note, and you will see. Ay, mo din sa bayte pesos ra. Ay, mo din sa kuan ra in anak ba. Okay. Do you have any questions or clarifications? Alright, so before we end this discussion, may I request everybody na, uh, may I request na lamang Torres to please lead a prayer. Okay. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father in heaven, with your name, the kingdom come, we will be done in the face of heaven. Give us this day our delivery and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sins against us. That bring us to the test and deliver us from evil. Amen. And then Amen. the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Bye, guys. Amen. 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 Amen.